What's going on guys, what's cracking? Uh, today is a grinding day. So what we're doing is grinding away and shaving the rear fenders here. So what we're doing here is, I already did it on this side and I'll show you guys on the other side. I'm grinding away this lip here so we can fit a bigger tire in the back. Um, I've got it mostly, now this side's not perfect here. My body guy's gonna have to touch that up a little more but I don't wanna go too far, I'd rather keep it safe. Uh, I've got this, ah, that still feels a little rough there. See, I can feel like, look, get little tidbits and it just bugs me. I just want it to be as nice as possible. So I'm trying to get this as good as possible here. This is very nerve wracking in doing this. So, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna undercoat all of this. I'm gonna clean this all off with a brake cleaner, wipe this all down and hit this with black undercoating because you can see the overspray of everything is absolutely trash and that's just not acceptable to me. So we're gonna fix all that today. Okay guys, so drinking a Keystone still, drinking a beer. Uh, what we're doing here next is, Sean's actually holding the camera, Sean GSX, you guys follow him on Instagram. We're going to be cutting this fender on the side. So what I had to did is I just put a piece of tape. The reason for the tape is just to give me a line uh, where I need to cut. It's not absolutely perfect, and I'll grind the rest off and smooth it out, but it's just to give me a line that I want to cut with. Um, what I'm going to do here is use a cutoff wheel, cut off the big majority, and then take a grinding disc, which you can see right here, and uh, grind the rest off and smooth it out. And then I'll take a Dremel, which I have over here, and get the last little bits, get any little hairs, any little hangups that I have, uh, and finish it off with that. You're only doing the rear, we're not doing the front fenders, I never cut those. We only cut the rear so we can fit a bigger tire. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, but I figured if I'm going to go ahead and paint the car, I'd rather do it now than after paint, just to be safe. So I'm just going to go ahead and handle it now and get it figured out. Again, the best way to do it is just take a cutoff wheel, then we'll take a grinding disc. There's no real science to it, guys, so just watch and you'll see. Now, if you guys see, I'm not cutting real deep. What I'm doing is, don't do what I just did there either with your finger to stop the back of it, bad habit. Um, what I'm doing is kind of just like digging in so I get a line. So know how like when you take a pilot drill, right, you make that first little baby hole, right, to help pilot the big drill through to make a bigger hole. I'm just kind of making a line so when I go through this, it cuts nice and smooth. So I'm just kind of making like an edge for myself, and I'm gonna go back through and actually cut through. Just makes it a little bit easier. That's my opinion, you guys don't have to do that. That's just how I'm doing it. This is my first time actually grinding these out. I've never done this before, so take this all for a grain of salt. Um, I'm obviously wearing eye protection. Really, you should have eye protection and you should have a face shield for something like this. I don't have that today. I'm wearing a hat backwards, gloves, full sweatshirt, everything. Um, because God forbid something would happen, I don't want anyone to get hurt. Uh, and that's just me being honest to you. That's not just for YouTube. I have a really weird fear with all this. Something could happen. That's why I wear these big, ugly glasses, uh, just to be safe. So, just a little FYI for y'all. The smoke is from me hitting the tape, by the way. If you were doing this on regular paint, see the smoke and stuff, it is bubbling the paint itself. If I was doing this on my super, right, and had good paint, you would want to hit, back off, hit, back off, hit, back off, because you're obviously creating a ton of heat. It will bubble your paint. So this is a very time consuming project if you're going to do this with good fresh paint, but because I don't, I don't have to worry about any of that, which is freaking nice and why you want to do it now and not later.
Gloves. You wouldn't want to be touching this with your bare hands. Always wear gloves. I'm almost done here, guys. If you, Sean, you want to come over here real quick? I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see because the light's so horrible here. It's probably not going to focus, but right here where my finger is, which you can't even see either, um, it's just, let me grab this real quick. We come in here and see if it'll focus for you guys. Sorry about the light. It's just too much right now. Um, there's dust and dirt all over the camera lens too, so. Right here's where I'm cutting. You can see where the black tape stops. I'm trying to round off the edge so it looks smooth, and then when I pull this off, I'll grind it and show you guys properly. My fear was I was gonna take that and smack me in the face. Yeah. All right guys, now put the grinding disc on and what I'm gonna do is just try to smooth all this out. This is the more tedious part and then I'll take the dremel and that's even more tedious, so. Sean will come down here. Um, I went ahead and sprayed this with a Duplicolor color. It is almost out of it actually. It's a professional undercoat. So they have a couple different types of this is a professional version. I figured for a couple extra bucks, it's worth it. Uh, it is rubberized. Just an FYI if you see here, I'm not sure if it will show up on, is it showing there, Sean? Is it showing on mm -hmm. camera? Might have to tap the screen to focus in on it. There it is, yep. So if you guys can see there, it's rubberized coating, it's black. Uh, it is paintable, so if you want to paint another color, I'm not, but it is nice. This is like $7.99 or eight bucks at Advanced Auto, so if that's what you guys are looking for, I'm a big fan, obviously, of Advanced Auto, so I'll ever go to, um, but it makes it nice and black in here. And with this not being painted, you see I got overspray on stuff. Obviously, you'd want to take this off for me. I don't care, because it's gonna to go to a body shop and they'll take care of that, but look at all that. Nice and black in there now. Um, I'm gonna hit a few more spots. I'm hitting it with this bright light, too. So it is a nice rubberized coating and keep this from rusting out down the road. Um, this is what I wanted. So look at that, looks freaking awesome. So now we gotta do the other side and uh, we should get done with this pretty shortly. Uh, trimming this was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. So pretty freaking happy and let's move on to the next step. All right guys, so for perspective, here's the black on this side and that's a bright blue light. So there's the black on this side. It looks very good. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. It's gonna dry a little bit more, but I'm very happy with that. The control tip on this is very good too. Again, there's some splatter there. Again, it's gonna get painted, so I don't care. But if we come over to this side, um, you can see how dirty, nasty everything is. We already hit it with brake cleaner to get as much off to dry off any grease or grime that might be in here. Now I'm gonna hit it with this rubberized coating um, and get this as black as possible and looking spiffy. We just pushed the cars outside. You did a good job, thank you. Just clean up the floors too, which is nasty. It's some stains and stuff I'll clean up then later. It's my own fault. Um, but the car is outside and this gives a little bit better perspective, more natural light out here. I mean, it is pretty well stripped now, guys. And you can see, this makes me now want to spray in here, Sean. Because, well, look at it. I mean, it just, you can see the overspray and it could be perfectly black. And I know Sean right now, in his head, Sean's like, yeah, that should be done. Definitely. Like, if we come back here, Oh, I can't even get it because the light's so bad. I have to go on the other side. Hold on. Just, sorry, guys. Let me go on the other side for you. We'll go over here. Look at that. 
Like it, you can't, it doesn't even focus on camera because it's so black in there now. That's so funny. So yeah, nice and black in there. Much, much, much better. And once that fully cures and dries, that'll be perfect. I'll be super happy with that. Um, car's looking good though. Got most of everything out. I'm trying to think of what else. She's a dirty biatch right now, but sight, sight. My neighbor's getting his vehicles out. He's got some RZRs, razors, I guess. They're, are they razors or RZRs? What do you call them? What's the proper name, Sean? I call them razors. Okay, so they're razors, because I'm usually wrong about everything. So we'll call them razors. Um, yeah, uh, the only other thing I could think of, honestly, is I sprayed the underliners, the glass, the seam sealer. I guess we should attack seam sealer next. I just, I am really scared to do it because I've never done it. I wish I had a friend that knew body work real well that was local that could remove it for me and then I would apply it. I just, I've never done it myself and I want to make sure I do it properly. If you guys can see there, I have all that shit and I don't want to spray over that because it just looks like trash. It looks like shit. Why would you want to spray over that? So, uh, more shit to do. All right, guys, and on that note, that's gonna be it for this one. So the fenders are cutting out, everything's coated, everything looks great. I've got a couple more videos coming up for you here. Uh, removing the glass, I show you guys how to use Pour 15 to coat all your fenders and do all that. Uh, I've got a couple other things too. I've got some pretty bad things happen to me here. Kinda sucks, but I'll show you in the next coming, upcoming videos. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, you know what to do, down in the comments, let me know. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.